and why we came, and where we go and why. These are the fundamental questions that have plagued mankind. In the 11th century, Khayyam, the great Persian mathematician and astronomer, mastered and employed all the sciences of his time and sought to answer the riddles of life. Unsatisfied with the narrow definitions that science and religion had to offer, Khayyam may have embarked on a poetic journey to articulate his views about life and the human condition. But who was Khayyam? How did this 11th century Persian mathematician and astronomer come to influence the Western literary world and assume a praiseworthy place among the pantheon of Persian poets? Our knowledge of the historical Khayyam is fragmentary. Therefore, as we confront the monumental task of resurrecting Khayyam as a man of science and a poet, we must acknowledge the ephemeral state of our labor and the limited vision of Khayyam that we are able to portray. Wait. Let us not delay, for I fear a thousand blossoms woke, and thousands scattered into clay, whilst we drag our wits aimlessly hither and thither. Let us take a loaf of bread, a flask of wine, a book of verses, and thou beside me joyously into the madness of this pointed realm submerged. Give us leave, so we may heaven and hell in the remote vagueness of our thoughts suspend. Let us make the most of what we yet may spend before we too into the dust descend. Dust into dust and under dust to lie, sans wine, sans song, sans singer, and songs end. 
Kayon was born in the district of Shadyakh, near today's city of Neshabur, around 1048 CE Common Era. We know very little about his life, but we know that he, as a child, was born into a deprived family. His father was a tent maker who had uh, a great deal of difficulty convincing the Imam of the mosque to accept his son as his uh, student. Omar studied uh, with a number of uh, great masters in Neshabur. He studied uh, Quranic uh, sciences, Islamic sciences, mathematics, astronomy, geometry, and uh, philosophy. In uh, philosophy, he was a peripatetic, a mashai. Uh, he was a follower of Avicenna. He himself says that Avicenna is uh, my teacher. This is highly unlikely because of the uh, age difference, but uh, it is uh, very plausible that he studied with the student of uh, Avicenna, Bahmanyar. Khayyam uh, made a number of uh, journeys uh, throughout the land of Persia. He went to Ray, he went to Esfahan, he came back to Ray, uh, he went to Herat in today's uh, Afghanistan. He went to Mecca and came back, but he spent the majority of his uh, life, especially the latter part of his life, in uh, Shadiach, where he was born, and that's where the Grand Master died. Man be made of باد کشید بار تن نتوانم من بنده آن دمم که ساقی گوید یک جا و دیگر بگیر و من نتوانم The fact is that there are any number of Omar Khayyams, not one, but many. There is Khayyam, the philosopher, Khayyam, the juror, Khayyam, the mathematician, Khayyam the astronomer, and also by some incident and by some, uh, or design, uh, Khayyam the poet. But the Khayyam the poet, the way we know it in Persian poetry, is even itself has to be separated from Khayyam that Fitzgerald's magnificent translation made available in Victorian poetry. We have to add the fact that there are multiplicities of Khayyam by virtue of his own personal and intellectual interests, the fact that uh, a number of periods in Iranian and Islamic intellectual history has, has passed and every period as a result has had a, any number of different reasons to manufacture, construct, project a different Khayyam. Now, uh, instead of saying which one of these Khayyam is, uh, is the correct Khayyam, I think we have to abandon that uh, uh, project of finding which one is the correct Khayyam and in fact look for the particular parameters and the specific reasons as to why is it that every generation, uh, for example, goes and invents a new Khayyam. Khayyam was historical, man getting up in the morning, having his breakfast and going about doing his business. But far more interesting are in fact the intervening varieties of Omar Khayyam that have been uh, projected rather than that actual authentic Omar Khayyam, which in my judgment is really delusional. من ظاهر نیستی و هستی دانم من باطن هر فراز و پستی دانم با این همه از دانش خود شرمم باد گر مرتبه ای ورای 